Last week we talked about gravity. Gravity is something we might not have if we were traveling in a spaceship, but we would definitely need to have oxygen. Oxygen is one of the things people have to have in order to survive. Did you know you breathe in and out about 20,000 times a day? <sighs> Every time you do that, your body works to move oxygen to all your cells. Every type of cell in our bodies needs oxygen. Oxygen lets our bodies move, grow, heal, and work. So let's follow an oxygen molecule through the body and see what it does. First, the oxygen goes into our lungs. Can you put your hand on your belly and take a deep breath? You can feel your lungs filling with air. Some of that air is oxygen. Your lungs help get the oxygen into your blood. The main purpose of blood is to carry oxygen to all your cells, all of your whole body. That's why we have blood going all through our body. But blood can't move itself around. It needs the heart to do that. The heart is what pumps the blood. You might be able to feel this pumping by feeling your pulse on your wrist, under your thumb, or sometimes on your neck, under your ear, or on the left side of your chest where your heart is. If you feel a pulsing thump 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 thump, that's your heart pumping blood right now. Your heart pushes blood all through your body through blood vessels that are kind of like tubes. Your heart pushes blood to the lungs where it can pick up oxygen and then it goes to all the cells in your body, dropping off that oxygen for the cells to use. There are lots of different pathways that blood can take so that it can get all over your body very efficiently. Then when it's done, it goes back to the heart and onto the lungs to pick up more oxygen. For your STEM activity today, we're gonna make a marble run that is kind of like how your blood vessels carry blood throughout your whole body. Our little marbles will be like oxygen and our chutes and ramps will be like the blood vessels that carry blood. To make your marble run, you'll need some kind of small ball. These are small beads, but uh, little marbles or um, you could even maybe use blueberries or grapes or whatever kind of tiny ball you have around your house. Then we'll make shoots that match the size of your balls. I'm going to show you how to make some out of paper, but you could also make them out of cardboard tubes or Legos or blocks or whatever you have around where you are. A simple shoot is just a long strip of paper with the edges folded up to keep the marble in. You can use books or blocks or a cup or toys or whatever you have to make it the right height. We can tape this up here to make a ramp. Let's see, in fact, I'm going to tape it on both sides like that. I don't want to be too steep, so I'm going to test it. Oh yeah, that looks good. We don't want our chute to be too steep though, because then the marble will jump off the track. See, I'm going to double this over to tape the bottom part right there. Yeah, that's pretty sturdy. Good. Now that I've got that working, I can add on some more chutes on top. Your marble one doesn't have to be big. Start with just one chute that will be the bottom of your track. Then, once you get that working, you can add on above that um, as high as you want. I'm going to add a couple of different ways that the marble can go. This is kind of like how in your body the blood has lots of different ways it can go. It can go up to your head, or out to your fingers, down to your legs. But I want all the marbles to end up at the same place. That will be kind of like our lungs or our heart. So I'm going to use this cake pan to collect the marbles. This is kind of like how your blood always ends up back at your heart. When we lift a marble to put it up on the track, that's kind of like your heart pumping blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen. And then from there it can travel all through your body. It's pretty amazing how every breath, every pump of your heart carries oxygen to trillions of cells in your body. Next time you take a deep breath of fresh air, you might think about the amazing journey all those oxygen molecules are making. I hope you will stay safe, have fun, and keep breathing. <sighs>